G'day everyone, it's Mark Fernandez here with another video. Thank you for joining me. Today, I was hoping to do something a little bit different. I was going to do a review of my awning, but the weather turned nasty today all of a sudden. So uh, today instead, we're going to be making a little bit of a modification to the Navara. I'll put some pictures up on your screen now of kind of what I'm going for. So I saw on, I think it was Andrew St. Pierre White's videos, uh, 4X Overland, he had a, it was like an arm kind of rest for the side of, of your door. Um, and it had some pockets and it looked really nice, really high quality, had canvas and stuff. I looked at it and they don't make them anymore. So I'm kind of trying to emulate that a little bit with a different style. So the plan is, is that I've got a travel organizer. I actually got a couple of them when they're on special. They're only about like 12 or $13. And my plan is to put them or put one on the door so I can have that as my armrest, but it'll also double as a organizer and I can keep some things in there as well. So this is the organizer that I'm talking about here. Now, I've got a couple of things in it already, um, just a few bits and pieces. I just keep a few things in here at the moment. Um, I will be swapping all this around to try and make a little bit more, probably a bit thinner, a little bit more appropriate for what we're doing in the four wheel drive, but I just kind of keep it just handy. I kind of just keep it in the in the glove compartment, but I think that we can find a better way to mount this. And it is actually quite soft. That is quite a soft uh, material that we have here. So I think it's actually gonna be pretty useful to put on the door. So the plan is to try and put it somewhere on the door here where we can easily rest our elbow as we are driving along. So guys, the plan is, is to clean this area on the armrest where it's going to go and try and get any of the greases that are on there. I know that there is just a bit of junk on there just from um, like armor all and stuff like that. And I don't think that the Velcro that we're gonna be using is gonna stick very well to it. So that's our first job. First job is to clean it up. Second job will be put the Velcro on, measure it up, size it up. And the third job will just be a matter of just sticking it on there and we're good to go. So guys, the first thing I'm going to be doing is using this methylated spirits just to try and clean off any of those greases there. So let's get stuck in and do that now. Alrighty guys, with that first job done, now it's time to size up our pieces of our Velcro. But before we do that, we need to see our position of where we're going to put the uh, the armrest. So let's see, let's see what we can do with that. So what I'm thinking is the orientation going something where I can have it up here, but it will also be able to fold down so I can get anything that I need. So I guess the plan is, is to try and put a piece of Velcro maybe along here, that would work out well, and it'd have to go on the end of here as well, because if it's too high up, it's gonna hit the window, so we don't want that. So something like that, where it's just resting on the edge there would be good, but I don't want this part facing up, because if my elbow is gonna go on that, that's gonna be a bit annoying. So I'm thinking maybe we could um, do it on the other side here, Maybe we could, just thinking out loud here, maybe we could do something where the flat side is facing up. So maybe if we put the Velcro, maybe on this side here, so that way it could extend down like that. That's actually looking like our best option here. And that would sit up something like, something like that as I'm driving down the road. It's actually quite comfortable. Um, at the moment, the ergonomics are a little bit off, so that would fix up quite nicely. So I reckon that's what we'll do. That looks like the best option. Um, now, the question is, do I keep these on here? Because that will keep it together if I decide to take it, hmm, if I take it out of the car, that would keep it all together nicely. So maybe, is there a way I can take these little straps off here? Let's have a look. I could, always, I could always sew it back on later. So let's just cut it. So let's start measuring this out here now. We'll get, um, get some Velcro on here. Actually, so what I'm thinking is the best option is going to be to leave it like this and then just put the Velcro on this side first. So it's gonna to have to go on that far end there. Question is, will it stay like that as we're driving? So we put it like this, right? It would fold down as we're driving. So that's no good. 
So if we put it like this. One eternity later. To keep it shut. So I think that's what we'll do. I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. Let's put Velcro where we had originally planned and we'll put some Velcro on the inside of here as well just to make sure it stays shut over bumps. Yeah, I like the sound of that, let's do that. I'm actually gonna put the scratchy side on this if that makes sense. I'm gonna put the scratchy side on this because if I put more of just the loop stuff and not the hoop or hook part, if I just put the hook on here, that way if I put any more looping parts anywhere around the vehicle, I can just slap it straight on there. So I will go with the hooks and we'll size it up and we'll cut it out. So we'll be good to go. Okay, so that's gonna go on there. I'm just gonna do one more size up to make sure we've got it right. Yep. I'm just gonna stick it on and see how we go. See if it works now. And just as we had predicted, that's what happens. So let's put another piece of Velcro between here and here, as high up as possible so it sits it up nice and high for us. And try a different tactic this time and put the Velcro already on there. So I can get it up to sit where I want it to sit. Yeah, that didn't really work how I wanted it to. I didn't put it up high enough. So I might just put one more piece a little bit higher up on it. I can just do, I can just do that now. It needs to be smoothed out too. What would have been better actually would be to put a piece of Velcro long ways. That actually would have been better. So I might do that now. Okay hey guys, so what we're left with is, um, it's on there pretty hard. It's, it looks pretty good. It's in a good position. I'm pretty happy with it. I will probably change up what I have in here to maybe make the things on the top a little bit smoother um, for a little bit more um, cushioning. Cause at the moment I've got some metal pens in there. So that's obviously not ideal, but for a weekend project that didn't take very long at all, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and if I ever want to put in things like, you know, if I'm going day trip or something like that, which I will be doing very shortly, I'll be taking you guys along with me. If I want to get out of the car and I need um, maybe just some disinfectant wipes or you know tissue or whatever it is that I need, I can just take it off like that, use it. When I'm done with it, I can just go ahead, put it back, slam it back on, and I've got my armrest still good to go. So pretty happy with it, pretty happy with how it turned out. So um, if you got some information out of this that you find might be useful for you, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.